Hi, I'm Corey from ID Parts. If you have a first generation Sprinter or an E320 Mercedes CDI, like what's behind me here, you've probably read about injector black death. This occurs when the copper seal, which is between the injector and the cylinder head fails and allows exhaust gases from the cylinder to escape. What happens then is it builds up the exhaust gases carbonize and they form this kind of epoxy gunk that builds up on top of the motor. This causes a whole load of problems, including poor starts, poor fuel economy, smokiness. Overall, it's a very unhealthy situation for your engine. So this is a common repair. However, we see people mess this job up all the time. So here are five mistakes you need to avoid when doing this job. Number one, not using the right tools. This one's pretty obvious. Any job you do, you need to have the right tools. This is the injector removal claw. It's from Mercedes. You need to get one of these or else you won't be able to get the injectors out. It is impossible to use vice grips or use any other tool. And if you try, you will break the valve cover. The valve cover is a multiple hundred dollar piece. You don't want to do that. So be sure you buy an injector claw before you start the job. Number two, not using new injector hold down bolts. This is a used injector hold down boat bolt. You can't use this again. The torque spec on this is a torque to yield spec, which means you're gonna tighten down the screw, the bolt, and then you're gonna do another final turn of 90 degrees. That causes this bolt to stretch. And as it's stretching, it's actually squeezing. This is what squeezes the injector against the seal and makes that airtight seal between the cylinder head and the injector. If you reuse this bolt, it will no longer have that elastic property. So even though you torque it down, it will not be holding the injector down tight enough. And you will have to fix this problem again. Black Death will return fairly quickly and you get to do the whole thing over again. Number three, not using new copper seals. Most injectors come with copper seals on them. So if you're replacing the injectors, you will have a new copper seal. However, I always recommend getting an extra couple of them because you'll probably drop one, you'll probably use one. And in no circumstance, shall you reuse injector seals. These are copper seals, here's a used one. They get crushed when you install the injectors. They will not crush a second time. They will not seal a second time. If you reuse an injector, you're gonna be doing this repair again very, very soon. Number four, sometimes you're lucky and these seals come out with the injectors. Sometimes you're not lucky. The injector comes out and the seal is stuck at the bottom of the injector bore. Often people don't notice this and then they put the new seal on the new, new injector and they put it in the injector bore, they put it in the engine and then the new seal is sitting on top of the old seal. That will not seal, that will not work and again, you'll be doing this job one more time. Number five, this one's really, really important because we see this and it can cause you a lot of frustration if you do make this mistake. You need to clean out the threads for the injector hold down bolt. Here's how dirty it is, right? All that black death gets into the threads. And when you take the old bolt out and you put the new bolt in, the new bolt is gonna push all that gunk down to the bottom of the hole. It will build up there, and then eventually the screw will bottom out on the gunk. And you'll be tightening the screw, tightening the bolt, against the debris at the bottom of it, not against the injector. What happens then? Well, one, the injector doesn't get held down properly, so you're gonna have a leak there. And number two, and we see this all the time, and it's really unfortunate, it's a pain to fix, it strips the threads. You'll have to drill out the old threads, tap the new threads, use a thread kit. We stock those, we do this repair all the time. Don't make that mistake. All right, that's our five common mistakes that you want to avoid. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or email me, sales at idparts.com. Subscribe to this channel and hit the little alert icon. That way you will be notified as I make new videos. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.